This pandemic could have gone a couple of different ways, but Canadians are clearly flattening the curve, saving hospitals from being overrun with sick patients. Still, over a thousand people have now died from COVID-19, hundreds more than the government had predicted by this date. Likely the result of a surge in seniors dying inside long-term care homes. But doctors say we're heading in the right direction. This week, Next week, we'll hit a plateau and then we'll start to go down. You only know that you've peaked when you see it in the rearview mirror. This outbreak has a lag time. Those who are losing their lives now became sick about two weeks ago. As the number of new infections slows down, so too will deaths. We're in the lucky position of trying to talk about what's next without having gone through the hell that other countries have gone through. But the Prime Minister insists that hell could still happen and Canadians must be patient. It would be terrible if we were to release restrictions too early and find out that we're suddenly back in another big wave of COVID-19. After easing early restrictions, Japan recently declared a state of emergency and is now seeing a spike in deaths. So when might it be safe for people to come out of isolation? I don't think there's a medical answer to that question. It's a, it's a societal judgment. Researchers are now speculating on how Canadians could return to a new normal, including a gradual release of people from isolation. My best guess is the first batch is people who are fairly young and don't have health conditions. Because while they'll get infected, they're much less likely to get very sick or die. Canadians have given scientists and the government time to find a new path, but there will be hard turns in the road ahead. Christine Virac, CBC News, Toronto.